Hey, it's Friday. Oh, let me turn that light on. Heck, let me close my door. <coughs> Man, I was prepared, wasn't I? Hello. Uh, I'm running late. It's 6.12. It's already 6.12. My goodness. And it's 31 degrees. Back below freezing. It snowed all day, so I'm not surprised. Uh, 31. Yes. Oh, it's down to 30. Never mind. It's 30 degrees. And it snowed, but only about an inch, I think, if that. Just enough to totally screw up driving again, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to go straight downtown to the Target Center to watch the Timberwolves take on the Spurs. We have beaten the Spurs uh, in the last game. When was that? It was January 2nd, in fact. It was this month, so just a few short weeks ago. I'm hoping we can beat them again. Got my Rubio shirt on. And... Coming off the bench, or coming back from injuries, Beasley, Ridnour, Ridnour's going to start, uh, Martel Webster, finally, and maybe Brad Miller, which is very exciting for my wife, and I'm kind of excited too. I'd like to see uh, him do well, and maybe, you know, give it to Darko, who actually is doing pretty well, but could always do better, and every time he does one of those hook shots when he could be dunking, we're just like... Darko, come on, man. So, that's your Timberwolves update. Uh, I think I have some comments on the W I need to handle. I have that page up. Let's find out. Dun, 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 dun. JJ Dean wanted me to know that he also eats this particular soup, this exact flavor. This is my favorite. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's got a little zing to it. I love it because it gives me two-thirds of my daily requirement of sodium in just one package. Very good for me. Very happy about that. But it's, I don't know, I think my dad would be happy because I'm getting more into having spicier, zestier food and putting Tabasco in stuff occasionally, which before, growing up, he would make really good chili, split pea soup, crock pot type stuff, but he would always put some cayenne in there. And no matter how little amount of cayenne he put in there, we would always complain. He's like, yeah, you put it in there and I can taste it and they're too hot. And he would be very unhappy about that. But I've come around. My taste buds have matured. And now I appreciate that uh, that spicy secret. Actually, that was from a, a Subway ad. And I think their spicy secret was the fact that they put olives and mineral oil in their sandwiches. I've gotten from here to there pretty quickly. All right, it's three minutes. Now, if I can't find something to talk about, I'm going to leave because i got to get to the Target Center, man. 6.15, I'll be lucky if I get there before the introductions, especially in this weather. <sighs> oh, yeah, I was going to say something about Jersey Shore. Do you like how they sneak Vinny in for one or two minutes to make sure he gets his 100 grand? That's got to be the easiest job in the world, except he probably really has anxiety, and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. That's no fun. Still, I'd be willing to endure a little anxiety for 100 grand an episode. Call me MTV. A lot of people have talked about the blankness back here on the back wall, and I, I am going to get around to putting something up there, I think. I don't know. There's also a rumor that it may be time to get the offices painted again, in which case anything I put up I'll have to immediately take down for that. So I don't know if we're going to see anything in the next couple weeks or not. But if you have some ideas, and I, I forgot to mention that uh, John Googs did alert me to the uh, existence of some dark side of town, or is it wrong side of town? The Batista movie. There are posters for that movie. The really big one is 50 bucks. That movie is too awful for me to invest 50 bucks in a mere poster. You can, you can buy many copies of the movie for 50 bucks. Not that you'd want to. But it was a good idea, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, we'll grab something. I don't know. Something will happen. It's like how I occasionally move the magnets around. It's just been a busy week, so I really haven't had a lot of time to work on this space. But again, if you have any ideas, or if you want to send me something, you can send something to the PO, the PO box, and I'll proudly display it, perhaps, as long as it's legal and won't get me in trouble at work. 
And I guess I'm the same way as the I wear your shirt guy. If you want me to, to wear a particular shirt, I'll, I'll do that too. I will dance for you. You just have to uh, pull the strings. Doug says, not to offend, but Robbie Gordon is a much better bad driver than David Gilliland. Now, how would you know? Gilliland has the most recent top three finish. Let's put it that way. I like Robbie Gordon. I'm kind of like the Robbie Gordon of the internet wrestling community when you think about it. I went and became an owner-driver rather than be a, a writer for some site that was going to totally suck all the life out of me. Hmm. What site was that? comes to mind. It was very popular, and it had tens of thousands of readers. So, I, you know, I gave up my, uh, my Hendrick spot, if you will. Who'd Robbie drive for? Was it Hendrick? I'll be corrected later, I'm sure. But to run my own shoestring operation... And I did it my way. So I have a lot of empathy for Robbie Gordon. I kind of hope he does better, at least better than he's doing now. I'm not a big fan of how he's racing lately. There's been a lot of starting and parking and uh, associating with unsavory characters. And this NASCAR discussion will probably make sense to nobody. Although Susie's watching. Hi, Susie. I bet she'll know what I'm talking about. But David Gillen, that's my man. And he's back in the 38. I'm very happy about that. He did real well. In fact, he got his uh, second place finish on the road course in the 38 for Yates. So, hoping for good things for Gilliland and to a lesser extent that annoying guy, David Reagan, to now that they're teammates. I hope Travis finds something, finds a ride though. Travis Quapple from Wisconsin, who I now I uh, have a geographical affinity for as a proper Minnesotan. I think I'm going to close the books on this week. I know it's only seven minutes, but nobody cares except Cerebus. Cerebus, go back and watch one of the old ones if you want. That can be your extra time with me. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving comments. Please continue to leave feedback. I even take negative feedback, although I'm more likely to make fun of it than accept it. But Facebook comments, YouTube comments, get over to the W. If you need to find me on any of these places, all the information you need is at CRZ.net. That's CRZ, like my Twitter handle, .net. Also, there's a sweet two-hour Kraftwerk concert that somebody uploaded to SoundCloud, and I've linked to it from that page. So if nothing else, get yourself two hours of a sweet Kraftwerk concert from last December where they played Space Lab, which I had never heard them do live before. Mmm, that's good stuff. Thank you once again. Another week out. So you won't see me until Monday. But until then, I love you. Goodbye.